Hello, my beautiful people, my beautiful family members. Well, now is the end of week eight. Yeah, the end of week eight. And just to give you all, the ones that's just coming in, some info about this. This is a life makeover of 2018. And um, each week, we're doing something different so it won't get bored. And we're trying to touch every aspect um, in our life that's um, holding us back from a lot of things. Our self-love and a whole lot of other things. Stressing us out and a whole lot of stuff. So, um, please go ahead on and hit the subscription button if you're not a family member. And hit the bell to notify whenever any one of my videos come up. My videos are not only about life makeover videos. I have decorating videos. I have so many other videos. Um, budgeting videos. Starting a planning video in my journal. So, I have church videos that go up. Which I really, really love. Um, yeah. So, this is what's fueling you. This is week eight. On Sunday, the week began, and on Saturday, the week end. On Sunday, I put up a new video for the beginning of that week, and it ends on Saturday. And at the end of the title of my videos, you'll know which one is starting and which one ending, because I will put starting and ending, and what week it is, and the name of the video. So, we're on week eight, the ending of week eight. And it said, what's fueling you? And our take, take action challenge was to become aware of the habits and behaviors that keep you hooked on adrenaline. Are you drinking a lot of coffee during the day? Do you spend too much time on the computer? Do you rush from one appointment or task, task to another? This week, pick one new behavior from the list above and practice it faithfully during the week. Build on success. Remember, each little change made over time will make a big difference in your ability to slow down and improve the quality of your life. And in your makeover journals, we all had got us a makeover journal. In your makeover journal, you were supposed to write in there, the three habits that keep my adrenaline, adrenaline pumping are, and I'm going to name my three habits. One, rushing from one task to another, especially at school. By, be, by me being a mobile teacher, and if you don't know what a mobile teacher um, is, it's the, the teacher that doesn't have a classroom, Okay. And she have to use other teachers classroom to teach her lessons. So I do that the first part of the day. The last part of the day. Now I do have an office. Uh, uh, and I share an office with four, three other people. I'm the fourth one. And I have a desk as well in our office. So that's when I go in and I um, do whatever I have to do. My lesson plans. Uh, what have you um I, I work with careering and uh, resumes and all this other stuff encouraging the children to be the best that they can be before they leave you know so what okay let me revert this career success that's what i do career success to try to get their attention to what you need to do now and don't wait to don't wait until you're out of school have all this stuff together right now to get done. So when you get out of school, it's already there. Your portfolio binder with your resume, your recommendation, your introduction, your sample work, all of that's already in there. We do mock interviews. We um, dress um, as we're going on an interview. We, we, I teach um, career success, I'm not career success, customer service um, class where they get certificates. It'll go in the portfolio, a whole lot of stuff. And um, we go on job fairs and stuff. So I love it. I love what I do. So, yeah. So I'm a mobile teacher. I didn't mean to get all up in there. And it's so it, it, trying to, it stresses me out. My drilling and pumps when I have to go from one class to the other. I have to gather up every, um, 
disperse, um, um, let all the children go from one class, gather up my things, um, answer questions, and they want to, and you know the students have questions, they want to stop me, they stop me in the hallway, I'm going to the other class, sometimes I be late from answering other um, students' questions, gathering up my stuff, then I'm setting up, don't have really time to write on the board, I have to get jumped straight into the lesson, you know, it's so, my adrenaline, it keeps pumping. So that's one thing. The second thing is spending too much time on the computer. Yes, I do. If it's not um, doing a whole lot of um, things that must be done as like lesson plans, answering emails from the school, um, YouTube, what have you, uh, uh, paying, um, paying the little bit, paying bills. Um, what else can I, anything you can think of on a computer, it drains me. My adrenaline pump because I'm doing my, my emails and I'm thinking, hold up, I got to go over here. I got to finish this lesson plan here. Then I'm doing it. Hold up. I got to go and put this grade in think wave. And you know, I, is my adrenaline just pumping, 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 pumping. So that's one thing. Um, uh, that's the second thing. The third thing, um, I stress out over. The student's behavior. You have some students that um, you just have to stay on, stay on. And when my stress point, when my when I'm stressed, really stressful, I'm like, okay, did you hear me? I said, sit down, be quiet. And I catch myself yelling. I have to gather myself because my adrenaline starts pumping and everything. And, um, you know, I start getting stressed out and... I can feel myself, you know, getting off balance or what have you, and it, it's, it's just adrenaline rush. So those are the three things that um, keep my adrenaline pumping. So it said choose only one thing from the list above. I wish I had, I, I hope I wrote that, typed that in that, but kind of um, in the beginning of week eight up on the description, but I don't think I did. I'm gonna go back and put it in there. For the future ones that's coming to do um, this life makeover, but it's it said to choose one of them. They gave us different things to choose, different tasks um, to choose that will help us in our well-being. And it said pick one of them and try it out for that week. And these are the different things they um, test are. Uh, how to restore your energy and begin your fuel from a healthier source. These are the different ones they gave us to try. One was get tested. Two, uh, you know, for about drilling. It's a drilling test. Um, number two, schedule some downtime. Three, change your work habits. Four, breathe deeply. Five, take a good multivitamin. Six, give up caffeine. Seven, get regular exercise. So it was seven of them. So what I did, it says to pick one. Well, three of them I picked. <laughs> because one may work for one thing, but I, and I needed something for something else. So I used three of them, and it did me a whole lot good. On um, one day, it really calmed me down where I can focus. The drilling left, the stress left. I had started getting off a of balance where I was swaying, and um, all of that stopped. So, for um, that period. So, the one, the one new habit I'll practice this week is that's what you were supposed to put on there. Well, I put three down. One was breathe deeply. I did that. Oh, that's the one that really got me oxygen rolling and you know because i was like i said i was off balance and it really helped me out a lot um number two brisk walk i i had i didn't schedule brisk walk i had brisk walk when i walked the dog i walked a little longer um i walked a little bit faster you know the brisk walks i I'm trying to start enjoying walking the dog instead of seeing walking buddy instead of seeing it as a chore, but um, see it as a um, a stress reliever. So I and I, you know, started enjoying that this week. I put 
I start thinking about not walking the dog. Well, Buddy's getting a little freedom, but as well as I started, you know, letting stress and start thinking about good things that the Lord has done for me and stuff like that. Um, the next thing, schedule downtime. I did schedule me some downtime. Back, we had did a lesson. I don't forgot what week it was, but it was saying politely or learning to say no to tasks. So on my job, um, someone had came to me and I'm usually, okay, I'll get it done. Okay. Okay. And last week, uh, this week came to me. I had so much stuff. I was already stressed out trying to clear out, finish clearing out the office. Um, you know, so it can, um, be a more clear so you know when you walk into a place with a lot of stuff around you instantly get stressed out so that's what i was doing trying to clean out some of all that stuff and they came to me and said okay we need you to do this and i said i can't and it was like a shock to them and i said i can't i got something else to do i can't and they left me alone so it was a I, I, I scheduled me, that was some downtime, and I got, and I really felt good because what I was doing, I was clearing out the office, and I felt good because every time I threw some away, a lot of stress relief, I mean, I counted it as a downtime. I was relaxed. I wasn't running from class to class and all this stuff like that. So, yeah. And, oh, it was another thing. So, one, two, three, it was four things I tried. And then change my work habits. Um, if you seen my journal where I said I'll be checking my emails on Tuesdays. Now, I, um, I can't check my work emails once a week. I just can't do that. But um, I have to stay up on that. Of course, we all know that. But my other emails, um, even YouTube questions or YouTube um, responses, I set that on my um, planner that not my journal but my planner that i'll check them on tuesday and i don't feel stressed oh i haven't checked it today and it just what are my subscribers gonna think oh my goodness i gotta get up and check them and sometimes i find myself getting up two three in the morning checking them one two in the morning whatever early in the morning six before i go to work stressing trying to get that done trying to get ready trying to get ace ready trying to do this but mm -mm. so yes it helped me this week a whole lot so i'm um, in the in the script on the comments below please please if you would name if you want to name three you can but if uh if you want to name one or two how many ever you want to name or if you don't want to name that's fine but um list three habits that um kept your adrenaline running and tell us what you did which one did you choose to do or if you have something different that you choose to do share it below so it may, it may work for somebody that's passing through or even me that reads it so please yes um i really thank you all for being a part of my family and the lord is steadily blessing me and i just have so much to share with you all and the blessings and i'm just I'm so excited to see what the Lord has for me. And as I always say, I don't know when, I don't know where, and I don't know how. But the Lord will make a way. We just got to keep trusting in Him, no matter how it looks, how it smells, how cloudy it gets, the heartaches it gets, you know, that brings you the tears that comes to your eyes. We just got to hold on. We got to hold on because Satan wanna, wants us to give up. But I'm not giving up. I can't. He didn't bring me this far to leave me. I got too much. He invested too much in me. I invested too much time in this journey with the Lord. And you know, no, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm sticking with him. So I know that he's going to make a way. The devil may seem like he's um, one the battle? Mm-mm. No, he haven't. Mm-mm. Because -mm. victory is ours. He have not won. He, well, he may have won the battle, but he have not, he have not won the war. Because my Jesus will always be on top. Love you all. Stay blessed. See you tomorrow for week nine.